Today we're in Welland where a long-awaited project is finally set to get underway. Now this pit behind me may not look like much, but in two years time it's going to be the site of Welland's new Civic Square. Today's sod turning brings closure to one of Welland's most controversial debates. The sooner this gets put behind us, I know in two years from now when this project is completed, people will be saying it was long overdue, we should have had this 10 years ago. And I think the quicker we put this behind us, this has been the biggest negative we've had in the city for years. We've had a great amount of growth. Let's, let's build on our positives. This is not a negative, this is actually a positive. And, and as soon as we, people start making it a positive, it's, it's better for us. Well, I think the city needed to invest. I think it was time. I think it was time that we, we saw, I think they needed a new city hall and public library. But if you think about the library process and how many people walk through the library every day, how many people that's going to bring downtown, how it's going to create a small, I'm hoping, uh, niche market of cafes, boutique stores, that kind of thing. People who can run in and browse a little bit, go to the library, go to city hall, pay their taxes. And you're seeing that now with La Cantina restaurant. It's a nice little boutique kind of restaurant. So. As far as the chicken and the egg scenario, I think that we definitely needed the seed. Like, you, know, you go another analogy and use the seed from the city to get people downtown. The drawings you see here are the brainchild of Craig Goodman of Carruthers, Shaw and Partners Limited Architects. It's a pretty exciting project for Welland and, it, and in terms, architectural terms, uh, very interesting because the town, the existing town fabric uh, really needed some gaps filled. Uh, it's, it's got all the, all the right kind of ingredients and bones of a, of a great small town, but uh, the life had, had been kind of drawn out of it. And uh, this project, I think, will, will bring a lot of that vitality back to the, uh, the core of the town. Uh, it ties together the, the main points of the, the existing courthouse, the market, the canal, uh, all points that uh, a lot of towns would, would die for. I mean, Welland really has assets that most towns don't, don't have. We were certainly brought into the picture uh, uh, at the outset that you know that this was going to be a sensitive issue, but uh, it didn't impact at all on the design and, and uh, the development of the project. We we had a very good working relationship with the committee. Uh, the committee was had representation from uh, the council, from the library board, from the canal lands, from the BIA, and uh, everybody had a chance to talk. and And uh, we thought the process went very well. The new project will see a combination splash park, skating rink, a new city hall, and a new library. Well, we're really excited that the project's really underway now, and uh, I know the staff and our, the patrons using the library are looking forward to what the new space is going to mean for us. It's going to be a lot more space. We're going to be on one floor. We're going to be able to fit books on the shelves again. It's going to be really exciting. I know from colleagues that have opened new libraries around the province, often in the first few months, their, their business goes up by about 50%. So we're expecting to see a lot of new people coming in. If I was a landlord and I had a tenant living in that building, I would be in, in quite a bit of trouble. I mean, I'd have people complaining on a, on a daily basis from the air quality from, to the space to uh, just meeting rooms. If you come into City Hall now to have, try to have a meeting, it's impossible to get a room. There's, there is no room to have meeting rooms. Uh, and, and the City Hall should be a place where it's uh, people oriented. Our City Hall is not. It's not, it's not conducive to that. There's not enough room. Uh, it's antiquated from the point of uh, the plumbing, the hydro, the, uh, uh, the air quality, it's just not conducive to doing business in the city. We've got developers coming to our community all the time, which I prefer not to meet in City Hall. Uh, some developers have come, looked at our building and said, is this a City Hall? And I said, yes. They said, well, you know what, you're not very proud of your community when this is, this is your City Hall, this is what you're putting forward. If you build it, they will come, and the city's banking on that to the tune of $13.5 million, and only time will tell if the city's investment pays off. Reporting from Welland, I'm Lucy Larisha for The Source.